mouth hurts so bad. What? Is this awkward? My channel today is January 23rd and it is 206. I've been home since 10 o'clock. I taught my class this morning, came straight home, had some breakfast, and literally went full on mode to packing. And I wasn't planning on vlogging today. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but your girl is a genius. And I want to show you some of my packing hacks. I mean, is this like a foreshadowing? Am I going to be like a DIYer? <laughs> I don't know, delusional. Okay, I am packing up my jewelry and there are two little hacks that I wanna show you. One that I found on the interwebs. I cannot take credit for that, but here is what it's looking like. This is all my jewelry. I've gotten rid of so much, but the hack is this little thing right here. So these are my necklaces, like my more delicate necklaces, and I just put them through a used toilet paper thingy um, so that they don't get twisted and tangled. Isn't that like perfect? Like how bloody genius is that? Then I'm also using um, like silverware holders. <laughs> Sorry, it's heavy. To kind of just divide the necklaces. So these are just a bunch of my necklaces. These are the smaller ones. These are the heftier ones, more bulky. And then I have another one here with watches. These are my rings, um, more earrings. And yeah, just a bunch of stuff. But this helps divide everything and not just, um, and not get all tangled, like I said. And now, the one thing that I am so proud of, because I came up with it, is I store my little earrings in ice cube holders. I did this in New York City because um, space was very limited, so I had to figure out a way to get creative to store all my jewelry and my clothes. So like I said, they were always in an ice tray. But today, I was like, how am I gonna transport this without them falling? I don't have like individual earring holders. So what I did, I left them in the ice tray. Left them in the ice tray. But then I taped the ice tray over so that if anything, they'll stick to the top, but I won't lose any. And for an extra, for extra protection, I'm gonna wrap this in a bag. But for those of you that are moving, um, this is a great way to store your earrings or just to store them in general. What else? Oh, the clothes. So we, oh, I think Taz packed it, but I will open it for you guys. Okay, so we went through all our clothes. Since we hired movers, we're gonna take the majority of our stuff in the moving truck, but we are also packing up a suitcase with things we might need before the movers get there. So that's what we were doing right now. All of these are empty. I have to fold all those clothes and put them in the luggage, but the luggage that the movers will be taking is this one. And I'm gonna show you, this is literally the majority of our clothes. Well, maybe not the majority, but a lot of it. I'm gonna show you how we packed it because it goes a very long way. It weighs a ton, but since it's not flying, it doesn't really matter. We rolled everything up. You can't really tell because Taz put his socks up there, but every single piece of clothing is rolled up like so to create enough room for everything to fit. Half of this is Taz's and half of it is mine. And then what we have left is pretty much just this and then these that are hanging up, which is not a lot. We are donating a lot of clothes, so we're getting rid of a lot of stuff, which feels really nice to be honest. Um, I think that's it for now. Oh, another one. So this is a giant bag. It's a purse. You want to use what you have to pack. So I put all of my purses in here. Well, the ones that I could fit. You can't really tell they're all in here. So just make sure that you use what you already have. For example, we have these duffels that we've packed with stuff. Both of these have our shoes in it, have a couple shoes left. Instead of like getting a box to pack the duffels and the shoes, we just use what we had to pack. Hope that makes sense. Um, let me think, let me think. Do I have anything else that's like a hack? <laughs> um, I don't think so right now, but if I think of anything or if anything comes up, I'll definitely let you guys know. For now, I am going to finish packing and get as much done as we can. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to, we have to unpack the car of all the yoga mats, put them in here, 
and then um, we're gonna try to pack the the RAV4 with as much stuff as we can to kind of test it out. And there's Taz with some yoga mats. Hey! So many mats. <laughs> so many mats. All right, I'm off. Goodbye. Babe, Mira has to go in the car. It's not gonna go. It's gonna go like this. No, it's not gonna go outside because because on the side we got a box. So break. No. It's got to go it's on, go on top. the side. No. No. Yer. Yer is not a word. N neither is ner. Ner is my it. accent. Yer is my accent. No, it's not. Yeah. Anyway, the mirror, the mirror. is not going on its side because if it goes on its side, Put either way. Next to it. Put boxes next to it. Are you listening to yourself? That's bloody ridiculous. No. Ner. It's going on its side. Ner. I would rather have it go like this than like this and have it bend. It, it's not going like. to go. It's not going to go wobbly. It's just gonna go on top of the boxes. No, because we're gonna put putting the clothes on top of the boxes. The clothes can go on top of the mirror. No. Why? Because Cause I'm vetoing. It makes absolutely no sense. No, I don't want. Sense. How am I gonna take a booty selfie with a broken mirror? It's not gonna work. Perspective. It could be an Instagram post or something. It's all about <laughs> how you look at things. It might be broken, but you hold one way or another. <laughs> Hashtag broken crayons still colour. <laughs> Hashtag broken light bulb still. No, no, it does not work. No, no, no. <laughs> got to work on that one though. Yeah. Anyway, the mirror is not going to go on its, it's side. Going on its side. No, it's not. End of discussion. Hi, friends. I am awfully tired, and Taz is dragging me to the gym. If it were up to me, I'd do a flow here at the house so I can get more stuff done. But no, he wants to drive the forty minutes to the no, gym. No. 40 minutes to the gym, take an hour workout, drive 40 minutes back. That's what, two hours and a half? No. What's the math? 40, 40, 80, 120. Two hours and something and change. But I'm gonna go because I am a Fitzbo, dedicated. Let's do this. But. Hashtag no days off. <laughs> hashtag no days off. But really though, no days off for me because 365 workouts of the year. Anyway. I'm gonna get some pre-workout ready. I don't usually take pre-workout when I'm not prepping because I have energy, but today I have no energy. I am exhausted. So I'm gonna get some pre-workout ready for us and let's go to the gym. I think we're doing a lot of body today. So, let's go. Stage, need to get paid. Dude's getting switched, but I'm feeling the same. Been 60 days, stress on your face. Drawing conclusions, cause I can't be traced. I don't need this when I'm on my own. I don't need this when I'm on my own. I don't need this when I'm on my own. I don't need this, cause I'm fine alone. Black fitted, I ain't fucking with it. Too lame, y'all ain't coming with us. They acting dumb like it's all good. Brain fried like my fucking chicken. And if I see you in the meat section. Dipping now on my reflexes oh, shit. And see, told me I don't need a stressor We just flexing, they might need some pills It could get depressing I don't trade attention If you don't get the message Talking about this music, I could get a bit obsessive Just need to manifest it Oh now I feel like Santa From my presence at the function Taz said that I could do this So when someone says that I can't do something I'm gonna prove them wrong So wish me luck Stage, need to get paid. Views getting switched, but I'm feeling the same. Been 60 days, stress on your face. Drawing conclusions, cause I can't be traced. I don't need this when I'm on my own. I don't need this when I'm on my own. I don't need this when I'm on my own. I don't need this, cause I'm fine alone. Hey friends, just got out of the workout and my hammies hurt so bad. Um, 
I know I'm gonna be very, oh, that's slippery, <laughs> very sore. But I wanna come on here because when I was getting my jacket out of my locking room, I found something and I believe yeah. it is a sign. This was like this, upside down. Bye guys, good job Marcus. Bye. <laughs> I was like, it was like this, upside down, and I flipped it and it's a bookmark. And it says, I'm ready to spread my wings and fly. Dot, 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 so dramatic. But that's a sign, right babe? That's, that's not a sign, I don't know what is. <laughs> okay, mean? it got dark real fast, so I just wanted to share that with you just guys. Just listen to our sweet voices. <laughs> wanted to share that with you guys before I forgot. Where's the car? Right there. All right, oh my gosh, this is all ice. Yep. Don't say that. Look at the ice, guys. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> Get it? Ice, ice. Baby. <laughs> get it? You get it? All right. See you guys at home. Bye. Hi, friends. Don't mind the outfit. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and my lift off the shoulder sweater. Um, just got home, showered. Ted's making us dinner. And while we were talking about what we were going to eat, I was like, I should have done my full day of eating today because I'm eating all sorts of random stuff. I had breakfast. I had pancakes for breakfast and then I had chicken thighs and rice for lunch and I'm actually having chicken thighs again because they were so good. But yeah, it's a little bit more different than other things or other days that I eat. So I should have just done them today, but whatever, there's plenty more days. I'm just going to close it off for the day because there's not really much to do. I got to um, put these mats up on the website. Look at them, but look at how pretty they are, guys. They're so beautiful. And yes, these are heavy duty mats. They are not like your flimsy mats. They're super thick from uh, all natural rubber. It's good for hot yoga or regular yoga. So it's um, sweat wicking, you're not gonna slip. Literally the best mat you'll ever use. Yeah, I'm excited to put that on the site. I think for now it's gonna be on my personal site because our lift one is under construction. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey friends, it is now the next day. I think it's the 24th. Don't even remember. It's about, I think like 12, I think right now. And I've been up since 6 a.m. this morning. I was determined to get the yoga mats up and running on the site. So those are now live. So if you're watching this video, they are now live. I made a note that if you order between now until Sunday, your mat will be shipped out on Monday before we leave. If not, they're gonna take a little bit longer to ship just because of the whole move. So. Mats are live, get excited. Literally guys, this is the best mat you're ever gonna have, like without a doubt in my head. Also, if you watched my last video yesterday, I made like a quick little update about everything and I mentioned that I will be starting challenges up once again. You guys did want them back, I listened, we're doing it. The first challenge that I'm gonna be hosting is gonna start March, we have a little bit of time. Registration is not open quite yet. I don't have a date of when registration is gonna open, but I will put a link in the description box below where you can sign up to be the first to know when registration opens. So if you are interested in doing a challenge with me, make sure to leave your email in the link below, and like I said, you'll be the first to know. All right, Kona is trying to go out, so I'm gonna close the vlog off right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being so amazing and for being so supportive throughout this entire life change with the transitions and the programs and everything it's just a lot going on right now but thank you thank you thank you so much for being supportive and i'll see you guys in the next one